How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games and another Daz Watches. All right, let's clear up this conspiracy a sec before we move into today's video. These behind me are rats. There are two of them, and they are in pairs. I know that having only one rat is a bad thing. I grew up having rats. There are two of them, and they have a palace to live in. So for all the people that only see one rat in one second of my video and assume, oh! Daz is a rat abuser. Shut up! Shut up! I have two. They're rats. And for all the other people that think they're every, every single type of animal but a rat, honestly, my comment section, oh, Daz has got rabbits. Tiny rabbits? <laughs> oh, Daz has got a gerbil. Daz has got a guinea pig. Daz has got a cat. I had a comment saying Daz has got a cat. It's a cage. Why would I have a cat in a cage? They're rats. That's... That's all you need to know. And yes, one of them is called Linda, before you ask. I did that. Speaking of pets, it uh, kind of reflects on today's video. Growing up, we all wanted a pet, whether it be a pet goldfish, pet rat, cats, dogs, we love pets. But some people, even some children, have an acquired taste for what we would call pets. Today, we're going to be watching a video, I shit you not, called The Girl Who Collects Cockroaches. Hmm. Keyword there, kid, which means the parent has control of what pets she has. So they're letting her have cockroaches. I need to see this. Uh, I need to see it. Let's watch a video! Hi, my name is Shelby Counterman. I am nine years old and I collect cockroaches. Hi, my name is Daz Black, and I do believe that beating your child will stop things like this. Did she kiss the cockroach? Did she kiss it? Cheers. Bitch, that ain't gonna turn into a prince, all right? That's just gonna turn into an even larger cockroach. I mean, if you're gonna have a bed full of cockroaches, don't make out with them. Don't make out. I think that. I think that's just common sense, isn't it? Jesus Christ. When I started collecting roaches, I only had five. Only? I'd say that was enough! I'd say that's too many. I'd say five counts as an infestation in, in, the, in the eyes of an exterminator. And now I have thousands. <laughs> Shit! And mum's given her the egg boxes to do it. Ah! God, they're all over me. I swear they're all over me. Teach the world to not be afraid of cockroaches. It's not that we're afraid of them, all right? It's just they, they, they're a sign that all things aren't hunky-dory or healthy in your living environment. When we see a cockroach, when we go to a hotel, we don't go, oh, they must have just washed the sheets. We go, oh, shit, someone must have taken a shit somewhere and not cleaned it up. That's... That's what we associate with cockroaches, because they live off that shit. I like roaches because- Well, go buy a skipping rope, because this is not- this, No, I can't get on with this. Ah. 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 As when they call my arms, they tickle me, and when I hold them, they make me real happy. Uh, I could do without them, but- Don't, don't, Des, don't do it. Bite your tongue. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. She really likes them, so. I absolutely don't love that cockroach. Can't even walk. Is that roach okay? It looks like me coming back from the club. Look. I absolutely don't love the cockroaches. No one does. Even so, the parents don't like them yet allow them. Something tells me they're actually, you know, fans of the roaches. But I can deal with them. I do have freak out moments every once in a while. Oh my god, get those! Get them. Um, um, are they little woodlouse or baby roaches? Oh god, this would, this would not do. This will not do. I, I've known people before, right, to just not mention at all that they're a spider collector. Side rant! I once stayed around a friend's house when I was about 15, okay? And I, I'm not afraid of spiders, alright? I've held, like, little tarantulas and stuff. 
Don't really care. If they're in the house and I see them, slap that shit. Don't care. But some spiders, right, they're too big. They're too big to n be classed as an arachnid, all right? Some of these spiders are so damn big, they could, they literally they could qualify for a mortgage, all right? They're not animals. They're dinosaurs that weren't in that area where the asteroid hit and survived. That's what I'm talking about here. Those type of shit. And it's like, yeah, d dude, come stay around. Come stay around. We'll, you know, have pizza. We'll watch some horror films. Like, yeah, shit, let's do it. Stay around his house. Stay there all night. Had a wonderful evening. Wonderful. I go to sleep. I sleep there. I have nice dreams. I wake up. I come down for breakfast. I pass a room in the hall. In the hallway. I poke my head back round. And it is a room full of spiders. And I'm not talking little, you know, I'm talking this shit will catch a bird, read it a bedtime story, and then eat his head. That's the size of a spider we're talking. And I said, I said, John! John! John. When were you going to tell me I was sleeping above an Australian zoo? I think it's etiquette to just tell people that, oh, by the way, I have a room of death back there. Um, and if they get out, a foot will be lost if you're bitten. Now, at least tell me and let me make an educated decision whether I want to sleep around your house if you choose to keep monsters. <laughs> you know, if I had a shark in my bathtub, I might say, do you know, be careful when using the bath. Got a shark in it. There's a shark. But overall, you know, I've come to accept Shelby's passions. My favorite thing about roaches is that they are unique and special. Yeah. That's what the kids at school will call you. Imagine our friends coming over. Imagine inviting friends over and there's just roaches everywhere. My favorite thing about cockroaches is that someday in the near future that they will all go away. I don't think they will. I don't think that statement is uh, correct. Don't cockroaches survive like nuclear explosions or something? Is that a thing? I swear. Um, when we're all dead, roaches will, you know, only grow in numbers because we're not going to be killing them or keeping them in tanks. I want to teach people about my roaches because they're not monsters and they can be really cute and funny. Funny? Cockroaches are funny? They tell jokes? She is pregnant and right here you can see her AK scene in the back of her abdomen. Tell Susie to poke her abdomen back in because we don't want to see that shit dangling out. Oh, I can't. I can't. These are my Madagascar hissing cockroaches. They hiss? When in evolution did that happen? Wait. Uh, that, wait. A cockroach can hiss at you? Imagine imagine being in a hotel room, right? And a cockroach on the wall is like, psst. Psst. Hey. I would <laughs> fuck leave the planet i'd go <laughs> what sometimes they're too noisy i will hiss at them oh don't do that don't do that shit they'll hiss back i never knew they could hiss did fanos like snap his finger and this is a result or something like uh, i don't why do they hiss why are they allowed to hiss i have one nick in my room and i convinced why is that one so big look at it I didn't know they were that big. That's a Volkswagen. That, that's not That's not a Beetle. And I convinced my brother to put a tank in his room. And then we have three in our laundry room. And then the last two tanks in the garage. You don't need that many, though, do you? Like, let's be honest. You don't need that many. I mean, a cockroach is a cockroach. You know, having one or 10,000 doesn't matter. Oh, my God. And the thing is, the parents don't even like it! Put them in egg cartons, because they like the dark better than the light. And egg cartons are... light-proof, are they? This is a boy dubia roach. You can see it has wings on it. Oh shit, so that one can fly! Ah! Wonderful! Why don't we just get a little grappling hook and rope gun in there so they can just... Escape! This is a girl, and she does not have the wings. And on the boys, the wings are like to help their landing if they fall off something high. Uh, so the females are all fucked. That's a bit sexist, isn't it, God? Huh? Why would you give? 
Why would you give... I'm triggered now. I'm going to tweet about this. <laughs> Why would you give male cockroaches wings and females just fall? Hmm? Wow. Hashtag cancel cockroaches. <laughs> a ledge or a cage. Child's hand. This is a boy in Madagascar and this is a girl. And you can tell... The way they're hissing at her. Oh my god, this is horrifying. The exoskeleton is their bones on the outside of their body. They, they have what? I'm sorry, I'm learning so much here. They have what? Is their bones on the outside of their body? They the bones are on the outside of their body. What? We need David Attenborough to narrate this girl's bedroom. Hold on, I'll do it for him. Hold on. These girls' parents are out of their fucking mind. They allow this girl to keep a box of exoskeletons for her own amusement. If she was my daughter, I'd dropkick her out of the fucking window. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> 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 There's no way for just a couple of hours and then they get their normal color back. The roaches, they do not bite. They're not harmful at all, except they may be a little stinky once in a while. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hence the shit they swim in. This is a taxidermy beetle. I use them to clean out the dead bugs in my cage so it doesn't smell so bad. How, how do you... How do you keep a tally on this shit? How do you know where each beetle is? I doubt they got a tracker on them all, like a little ankle bracelet on one of their many legs. How do you know where each thing is? Like they, they mu one must escape, at least one a day must get out into the house. God damn it. They're called taxidermy beetles because they eat the flesh off bones. Didn't need to know that. Didn't need to know that information. Should have, should have just called it there. Should have just stopped. Right, so now we've learned that there's a beetle out there uh, that is trained in taxidermy um, and can eat the flesh off your bones. Uh, but great. Um, I will be reducing the amount I go outdoors. This is my gravestone for my favorite road journey. <laughs> Sorry, that's not, that's not funny, is it? Because a pet died. Moving on. Her name was Blackie, and I named her Blackie because she was completely black. Actually biting my tongue. She died about a year ago, and on the bottom I wrote, she was nice. <sighs> I saw she was. Well, she's now about to invite her friends over. Um, so let's see how this experience goes. Today we are making costumes for my roaches and I invited some friends over to help me. She's getting them dressed. She's dressing them up. Well, in my opinion, it's perfectly fine to have cockroaches. Andrea, you're wrong, Andrea. I never liked you, Andrea, all right? This is why everyone throws stuff at you in class. I think having a cockroach for a pet is pretty weird. Emily! You're my bestie! I like you, Emily. You're always the smart one. You know, your grades are going up. You've got a future. You've got a future, Emily. And I'd vote for you if you ran for president. Welcome to the Cockroach Fashion Show. Our first... Fuck my face. ...viewer will be a bumbly made by Emily. God, no. No. <laughs> Do you want to know why I know this isn't a real fashion show? One, the beetle ain't skinny enough. <laughs> and two, cockroaches don't wear clothes. And that poor cockroach, right? You dress it up as a bee. That's almost an insult. Right now. A real pretty I noticed they added in the clapping because no one's clapping. And if I was her friend who 
probably I there must be a reason they're there. Like maybe she has a PS5. I think I'd be thinking about all right, get through this, dress up her pet beetles, and then I can play FIFA. I think the fashion show went pretty good. She has a PS5. Oh, she has something in that room that that kid's going along with this for. That I see only 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 thing I can think of. I wanted all my friends to know that cockroaches can be funny and they're not scary. You could dress a lion up as um, a dolphin, but it'll still eat you. Doesn't make it funny when it's charging towards you. It it'll still rip you up the same. That was basket five. Jesus Christ, these cockroaches have a better life than me! They got a Ferris wheel! That, that's when you know you need to go out more. Like, when you see a cockroach having a better time than you, that's when you know... Shit! I do want a roach circus. What we put together is... Is that a burning hoop for them to jump through? Now, I'm not a scientist or you know, biologist or an expert in animals. But how is that cockroach gonna get through that hoop? Please tell me she's not throwing them through. If we have a Ferris wheel, a cannon. Cannon. You should be firing them out of your window. I would support the cannon if that was the case. We're gonna have a little air powered rocket launcher to launch our projectile, which today happens to be one of her beloved roaches. She can't love it that much if she's going to fire it out of a cannon. This isn't going to happen, is it? Alright. We are going to make the cannon shoot through this hoop of fire. And hit the net. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Oh! Oh. Ladies and gentlemen. They shot a cockroach out of a cannon. Is that cruel? I don't think that's good for the for the cockroach, is it? It's not, is it? Imagine being that cockroach! All right, we're going in a tube. Oh, this is nice, this is cozy. Oh, cool. This might be my new cage. I'm gonna tell Dennis when I get back. Ah! <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know anymore. Welcome to Show is Amazing Cockroach Show. That kid is me. That's me. And her, up here. That's also me. I don't know if she's a ghost or if she's actually there. That's not me. But that kid's face there is me. Like, what is what is going on? Well, I would not eat at that school's cafeteria, that's for sure. Um, interesting. Interesting insight into what is allowed in um, America. If you collect cockroaches and are offended by this video, fuck off. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed today's video. Sorry there's been a lack of videos recently. I've been going to events and uh, filming. We've just started filming Two Girls at a Wedding Part 3 yesterday. It was a very good shoot. Like, love, caress my channel. Do not buy me a cockroach. And I will see you in the next video. Stay dazzling. Ha! <laughs>